The envelope of a sound is another word for its amplitude over time. In a modular synth, envelope following is a procedure in which a sound's envelope is extracted and turned into a function in the form of control voltage. To extract an envelope, we should look at the signal that's coming in and compare it to the signal we want to go out. An audio signal oscillates from positive to negative many times per second. An envelope should go from zero to max and back to zero only a single time for each discrete sound. So where audio is fast and bipolar, the function we want to come out is slow and unipolar. Maths provides the tools we need to change audio into function. Let's patch the audio, in this case a drum loop, into the signal input of Maths channel 1. By increasing the fall time, we can slow it down enough to turn it into a function. As long as we keep the rise time short and the fall time longer, it will never go negative for longer than one cycle of the audio waveform. Now we have a function whose tail we can vary using the fall control or CV input. I'll use it with the DPO and Optimix to create a bass sound that is locked in rhythm with the drum loop. We do not have to hear the drum loop at all. Also, you do not have to use the extracted envelope to control amplitude. Because of the natural decay time associated with factorals, envelope following is easiest to do accurately when using low-pass gates like the Optimix. In fact, low-pass gates also turn on more slowly than solid-state VCAs. In many cases, this is not noticeable, but in the case of envelope following, we are tailoring the response to smooth over very short oscillations. As a result, when using a non-factorial VCA, you might find that the rise and fall time must both be dialed in more precisely. For example, here is a similar patch to before, but using the modulus. To get a clean sound, rise should be turned up a little higher and fall adjusted carefully to fit the sound we are using.